Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for the Panners Pan. The Panners Pan is a project that was created by Elizabeth from Shiny Happy Pans over on Instagram. I will leave her channel link down below along with everybody else I've ever mentioned in this project. But the idea of this project is to shout out Project Panners by linking a product to a panner and then setting a goal for the product and panning it. It's rolling and it goes on forever, according to Liz, which, I mean, I, if anybody could do it, I can do it. I'm a slow panner and I got a lot of makeup and I know a lot of project panners. So yeah, I might be able to drag this out for another decade or two, we'll see. But, um, you know, I'm just gonna keep going for as long as I can. I, of course, did make this a little bit more complicated by making it a progressive. So every month, whether I meet my goal on a product or not, I am rolling in a new project panner and a new product. I was up to 21 products and we are going up to 22 today. We're just going to see how high we can get it. I also pick three focus products to work on every month because with 22 products in a project, it's hard to distribute my attention equally, but if I could focus in on three, I'm happy with my progress for the month. So obviously I did not meet any goals for this past month, but the first of the three focus products was this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Warm Me Up. I like this shade very, very much. It's very pretty. It's a good nude for me. It's a pinky nude, but it's a nude. Um, my goal was to use this at least five times, and I did meet that goal. This lipstick is in this pro. This lipstick is in this project for Christina Chang, and uh, I, w despite the fact that I did use this like five or six times, I was unable to make a new mark on my paper. So it's right below the last mark, but it's so close that I'm gonna have to forego a new line on my paper, but I'm really glad I had a chance to focus in on this a little bit more because some months I only use it once or maybe twice. So five or six times is a huge increase in usage for this and I really like this lipstick a lot. The next focus product is a single eyeshadow from Luxie Beauty in the shade Halo. My goal is to hit pan on it. It is in this project for Alejandra Lissette. Still no pan, but I did meet my goal of using this five times and I am wearing it a little bit today on the inner corner of my eye look. Um, it is a light peachy pink that has a blue shift to it. It's a lovely shadow but for some reason I don't reach for it that often. And my third focus product for the month comes from my Just Peachy Mattes palette from Too Faced. This is in here for Elizabeth with an S and I'm trying to hit pan on the shade Peach Punch. And once again, my goal was to use it five times and I am wearing it for the fifth time today in my crease. It is a lovely shade. I was trying to get some ABH sultry vibes with this corally shade because I still feel like I'm missing out on that palette. Even though I had a nice conversation with Jessica and Dana about how over that palette they are because they've been panning it for the last year. But yeah, I don't have that palette and I, so of course I want it. But um, I'm certainly able to recreate some of the looks that I would create with that palette using shadows I already have. For example, the look I'm wearing right now. So um, my goal is to hit pan on this shade as well. I'm glad I used it five more times. Some months I don't reach for the shadow at all. I have been reaching for this shade to this, um, just peachy shade right next to it because it blends out into my transition area nicer when I use the two together, um, which is what I did today. So I started with the just peachy shade, put it all over, and then I put the peach punch shade uh, more intensely in my crease. And um, mm -hmm. it's lovely. I like it a lot. So those are my three focus products for the month. I'm glad I was able to give them a little bit more attention and uh, really enjoy them. They're great shadows, they're great products. They're great products, so it's really an, a pleasure to use them, but a lot of times I just don't. I have too much that I'm project panning. So let me take it really quickly from the top. I say really quickly, but we all know it's not really quickly. But let's take it from the top and I'll really quickly show you uh, the rest of the products and who they're in here for. And then we'll talk about what product I'm rolling in and for whom and what my three focus products will be for the month 
for the next month. First product is my BFF lip liner, which is in here for Elizabeth, who is Shiny Happy Pants. And I did use this a couple times, but I am not able to make a new mark on my paper, unfortunately. It is just below where it was last month. So, I'm gonna keep working on this little guy. This did make it into my Project Pan Roast for 2022, so I'm gonna try and finish this this year because once it makes it into the roast, you know it's shame city. The next product is another product that made it into my Project Pan Roast, and that is this lip gloss that is in here for Chic Geek. This is ColourPop's Curvy, but the craziest thing happened, you guys. After pulling it out of my purse for that video, I put it back in my bathroom because uh, this has been my purse. This has been my purse lip gloss, but with me being home all week long on winter break, I haven't been needing makeup in my purse. And so I've sat it up like this in my bathroom and look what appeared. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that window. One of my biggest complaints about this product was that I've been using it and using it and using it and there's no windows showing on this. I cannot see any signs of progress, but look, there's a sign of progress. So I guess I could assume that it is filled to here at this point and everything else is just stuck to the sides, maybe. I don't know, but I am very encouraged by this gigantic window that is now peeking through on this. And I'm so excited because maybe I will finish this one day. Maybe not, but maybe I will. That would be amazing. Next is my eyeliner from Jean de Bleu in the shade Electric Blue. This is in here for Alexi. I was able to make a new mark, which is always super exciting. And compared to some of the other marks on this sheet, it's a good one. That's my new mark. And look at how much bigger that progress is compared to some of the other months. I mean, it's not much, but I will take it. I'm very excited. I really am trying to use it. This is another product that made it into my 2022 Project Pan Roast. So got to get going on it. Otherwise, I need to shame myself for it some more. Next is this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Fool's Gold. I don't think I used this at all in the past month, to be honest with you. I wish I would have. It's a great product. It's not a great product. It's an okay product. But I really do feel like I can get some nice eye looks with it, but I didn't reach for it at all in the past month, I don't think. And by the way, this is in this project for Rebecca Morgan and Jocelyn Clare. Okay, next is my Julie G textured nail polish in the shade Sugar Plum Fairy. This is in here for Mariella, and I have been doing much better with this polish. I am using this every other manicure, at least I'm trying to. Um, I'm about halfway done with this bottle and I am going to be painting my nails with this tonight, <coughs> hopefully. I have to do another load of dishes. <coughs> what are you doing? Are you I have to do... Oh, I have to do another load of dishes, but after I do that load of dishes, I'm painting my nails with this, and I'm looking forward to it. We are going to jump down to my Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. I put this in this project for Steph Lyons and Delyn from Outward Processing. I really thought that I was going to meet this goal by today, but it didn't happen. I'm, I think I'm so close. I don't know. My goal is to use up the product from where that little line is down to the corner and back up the side. I want a clear pathway. And I am using this every single day, but I didn't make it happen for today. As soon as I create that little road, that little pathway, this is rolling out of this project. I'll have to find another project to put this in at some point because my goodness, I have years worth of product left in here and I need to keep working on it. But for this project, my goal is to make a little trail all the way through, and I didn't do it for today. So I'm gonna keep working on that. I use a lot more of that product in the summertime when I have a little bit of a tan. At this point, I use it as like a spot concealer and I use it for the outer half of my under eyes, which is very specific. I use a lighter concealer on the inner half and that concealer on the outer half, but it's too dark to put on the inner half of my under eyes. Next is my Juicy Tubes from Lancome. I used it a few times. This is in here for Linda from Linda Loves Life. She can pan these much better than I can. But um, yeah, I did use it a couple of times. 
Next is my, what is this? Next is my Modern Renaissance palette from ABH. My goal is to use this a total of 34 times in this project, and I am still at 18, which means I didn't use this at all in the past month. Um, I thought about wearing it today, but I used other eyeshadows from this project today instead. So I need to use this 16 more times before I can say my goal was met on this palette. I'm not working on any particular shade, but it would be really cool if I could hit pan on something during those 34 uses. But I did not use this at all in the past month, and this is in this project for Jessica Payne. A few more products I haven't touched in the past month. My Wet n Wild Don't Flutter Yourself Highlighter. This is in here for Rania. Didn't touch it. And my Wet n Wild Highlighter in Purple Ashes. This is in here for Kana. Didn't touch it. Next is my NARS Lip Pencil Lip Crayon in Rakugian. This is in here for Rebecca from Panning and Stuff. I wasn't able to make a new mark on this, but I did sharpen it in the past month, so I should be making some more progress. This is another lipstick that has found its way into my purse, which means I'm using it more consistently. My purse lipsticks typically get a little bit more love than the other lipsticks, but I've been home for the last two weeks, so I haven't really touched this at all. Next, I have two shadows from this ColourPop and My Little Pony collab palette for two different project panners. The first one is Beth from Beth's Makeup Diary, and it is this shade right here. I'm trying to hit pan on it. I'm trying to hit pan on this shadow. And the second one is this shadow right here, which is for Courtney from Triggy 3. Um, I'm trying to hit pan on both of them. I don't think I used this palette in the last month though. Eey. Next, I have a trio of eyeshadows for Morgan from who who not it friend. yes you were not the same Morgan no. who who is Lippy Lover Pans over on Instagram. My goal is a usage goal for this trio, and I don't think I used this at all in the past month. I'm I'm sorry guys, I don't think I used this at all in the past month. In fact, I know I didn't. I'm not even gonna say I don't think because I know I didn't use it. Yeah. Okay, I have a product I've used. This is my Pixie Color Corrector. I use this every single day. This is in this project for Amy and Kim because we did a Get Ready With Me for months and months and months. We're not doing it anymore. Uh, but my goal is to finish this color corrector and I am making such good progress. I can't believe it. It's really coming along nicely. I think it's gonna take a few more months to finish it off completely. But yep, really, really excited to move another color corrector out of my inventory, especially since this is the oldest of all the color correctors I own. I would, however, 100% repurchase this. I really like it and I think it's really good for my under eyes. Okay, three more. Next, I have my ABH and Mario, Master by Mario. ABH and Master by Mario palette. I brought this in here for Chanrel. And I'm trying to hit pan on the shade right here called Isabel. I did wear this once in the past month. I like it. It's a nice shadow. It's a nice, it's a nice fall shadow, but I mean, it, it could be worn year round. But I did wear this once in the past month. For Jamie, who is Jamie Jenks over on Instagram, I rolled in this foaming body scrub, which I have been enjoying immensely. I am not I might be getting close to the halfway point. I might be about halfway done with it. We're into the white section. Um, I use, I haven't been using this every single day, but I use it a ton and I really like it. And finally, the product I rolled in at last month's update is this Juvia's Place, the Nubian two palette. I brought this in for Tori and I am trying to hit pan on this shade up here. And that's what I have all over my eyelid today. I have a little bit of this matte brown in the outer corner, but on the other two thirds of my eyelid is this shade right here. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzy shade. I really like it. I've worn it probably two or three times in the past month. It's a really, really nice product. So, um, so glad it's in this project, but I got a long way to go before I hit pan. Okay, let's talk about the product I am rolling in this month and who it is for. The person I am rolling this product in for is Rose. 
and Rose, uh, she is, she, <laughs> she has a YouTube channel and an Instagram account. Currently, she seems to be more active over on Instagram. She's got a lot going on and I wanted to roll something in for her because I hope that by doing this, it might lift her spirits. She's trying so hard to come back to YouTube and she, she's just got so much going on. And I don't like to say that because I really do feel like everybody has so much going on. Like in the world we're living in today, everybody's got a story, everybody's got a struggle, but Rose really, really has a story and a struggle. And I'm not gonna tell her story, but she's very candid about what she's been going through for the last several months. And I've been thinking about her a lot because a lot of um, her struggles have to do with uh, her spouse's health. And man, uh, you know, you got to be grateful for health and wellness because when that goes, you know, when, when, when there's a problem with health and wellness, it really can affect everything. And I, you know, I just wanted to tell Rose that I don't know if she's going to watch this. She's, she's got a lot, like I said, she's got a lot on her plate, but I, I would like to let Rose know that I'm praying for her and her husband. And, you know, I do believe in the power of prayer and I hope that he can get better and you know that she can stay strong and be a good support for him because i can't imagine having to you know go through something like that my husband certainly has had a few health issues here and there but he still manages everything on his own and he doesn't need me to help him and um i'm grateful for you know the health that we have in our family so because rose has been on my mind so much lately i wanted to roll her into this project this month and the product that I am rolling in for Rose is a little Rose blush. This is from the brand American Beauty. I purchased this at Kohl's for like $2.50 years ago. It was on clearance and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. I've never seen the brand American Beauty sold anywhere, but the name of this shade is called Rose Shimmer and it's shaped like a little rose. I've used this a lot. You know, the, the edges of the petals have become very smooth and they're less defined, but there is a boatload of product in here. Uh, at brand new, it claimed to have 0.17 ounces or 4.8 grams. Like I said, I don't know how much of this I've used. I've used a lot of it but I'm not currently project panning a blush and I needed to put a blush in a project. So Rose, this one is for you. I'm not sure right now if my goal is just gonna be to hit pan or to finish it completely. I wanna say I wanna finish it, but that could be a little crazy and I might change my mind in a couple months, but I've had this for a long time. It's an older blush, well, all my stuff is older, but yeah, I would love to use this up, but for now, I think I'm going to set the goal of hitting pan and we'll see how I feel once I hit pan. This is a domed product, so, you know, it's going to take a while. I don't know if this is sitting in a metal pan or if it's on like a like clay terracotta tile like baked um, products sometimes are. I have no idea, but I'd like to hit pan on this, whatever... Whatever pan is for this product, I'd like to hit it. So that is for Rose. Now, give me a second. I will come up with my three focus products for the next month and I will let you know what they are in just a minute. Okay, I have picked out my three focus products for the month. Let me show you what they are. First of all, NARS Rakugian is going back in the spotlight. I'm a little frustrated. I wasn't able to make a new mark on my paper this month, so I want to make another mark on my paper for next month's update. That's the plan. I should be able to do it, but I should have been able to do it for this month, and I didn't. So that's going in. I am feeling extremely enthused by my window on my lip gloss, and this is another product that goes back to my purse. So I am hoping to really give this some undivided attention over the next month. And the third focus product is going to be this little trio that I put in here for Morgan. I have, uh, you, huh? That's 
Okay, different Morgan. I have um, usage goals for all three of these pans. My usage goals for these three shadows are 9, 9, and 14, and I am currently at 1, 1, and 1. I would like to meet one of my usage goals for one of these shades. I don't care which one, but I would like to get to either 9, 9, or 14 on one of these pans by next month. So, those are my focus products for the next month. And that's what's going on with this project. Thank you so much for watching. I will have everybody's accounts or channels linked down below for you to check them out. If you aren't subscribed to them already, I hope you do because that's the whole point of this project for you to discover some awesome project painters in the community. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.